Welcome to your Run With Alley SMR Mobility and Dynamic Stretching video. I'm Coach Alley. So nice to meet you and thank you so much for tuning in and joining my short video clip. These exercises are to be performed daily, uh, twice a day if possible, for at least 10 minutes each session. So let's start with a little bit of SMR. We're going to use a technique with a foam roller. You can easily access one from Amazon, uh, reach out to me via email or direct message if you need one. So let's start with those quads runners. I like to use one leg at a time so I really get deep into that muscle fascia, those small muscle fibers that really need to get loosened up before those runs. We're going to place that foam roller right above our kneecap, like there. Place our hands under our shoulders, tuck that right foot under and roll back and forth on that left quad. So it might be a little, a little tight, a little tense. Be easy, listen to your body, you know it best. And let's go to your adductor. This is kind of an awkward one, but it works. So you're on your forearm, you're hitting the inside of your leg. Whew. Feels good though. And feel free to stay in, an, in any, you know, in any muscle group for as long as you want. Everyone is different. So now we're gonna switch over to the opposite leg, the opposite quad. Same thing. Bring that foam roller under that kneecap. Roll it forward and back. Tucking that left foot under so you have some stability. So you don't go just like flying off the foam roller. And then let's go to that adductor, inner thigh. So for those of you that can't see, I'm hitting like the inside of my thigh right here. Woo! I know, a runner is best friend. Everyone loves spending the time to do this, but these are all the muscle groups I would highly recommend you hit. What they're gonna do, it's gonna increase your mobility, your range of motion. The range your muscles and your joints can move so you could be a more efficient and better runner. So now we're going to flip flop, move on to that hamstring. So let's take that left leg, point that right foot down, bring those hands up and slide forward and back, trying to keep a nice posture, making a see with that pelvis, squeezing those abs nice and tight and smiling, of course. Again, feel free to take your time in any of these. And then we're going to roll down to our calf, our soleus, and our gastrocnemius. So our soleus is our lower part of our calf. It's where our fast to a muscle fibers um, live or get recruited, the sprinter ones, and then the other one is for our endurance, the outer, you know, bigger calf muscle. And once you're done with that, we're going to switch it up over to the right leg. Same thing on the right hand side. Yep, we're doing foam rolling, baby. So self bottle release, this is a form, foam rolling of it, but it's not the only form. So if you wanted to do, you know, get a deep tissue massage, if you had that luxury, you could do that. Um, any muscle adhesions or knots. Uh, that you really need to get out uh, by a professional, maybe once a month if you could treat yourself to that, would be a good thing to do. If you can, of course. So now we're gonna go on to those glutes, plant both of those feet on the ground. Just roll back and forward. You might feel some knots in your glutes. It's gonna tighten up your hips, your pelvic floor. And you just wanna roll out those glutes feels all so good. And we're going to come sit down, roll out those lats now. So that foam roller is horizontal right under the shoulder blades. Interlace your fingers. Reach up high. Ooh, your back might crack like mine just did. Getting that thoracic spine stretch, those lats, the biggest back muscle. Now roll over to your right side, right under here, right like behind your armpit, almost right under your scaps, kind of near your rotator cuff. You might feel like a little knot like I have. 
And then you're going to switch it up going to the other side. Again, stay here as long as you want. There's no rushing full mall. You can stay here all day if you want. But for time's sake, I'm showing you the moves so then you could execute on them. And then we're going to come back up. We're going to turn the fulmar vertical. So you're going to lay your back on the fulmar vertically. I have a small one, so. And you're going to open your arms like a butterfly. And then bring them back down to your hips. Your, your butt could be touching the ground. Just if you have lower back issues and a little foam roller, be careful of the arch in your back. This is opening up your pec muscles, also giving you a nice stretch in your lats and your entire upper body. Getting yourself all prepared to do that workout or even after it. Let's do two more together. Inhale, bringing those hands up above the head. Exhale, bringing them back down to your hips or the sides. One more. Uh, and exhale. Beautiful. And that, my friends, is foam rolling. Now, I do have an orange foam roller. However, you can use this for the bottoms of your feet with your proprio Doctors are, they are the, basically the neurons that they basically or how you feel everything when you hit the ground. So rolling the bottom of your foot forward and back 20 times each session for those two daily sessions a day works for me. 10 to 20, whatever works for you, you just gotta do it. And then switch it up to the other foot. You're mirroring me, this is your right. Ah. SMR, foam rolling. So that's a SMR, your foam rolling section of this video. Now we're gonna move on to some dynamic stretching, which are stretches to be performed before that workout. So this is the must daily. You could do these daily without working out. The world's greatest stretch coming into a well runner's lunge. That right foot is in front, outside of that right hand. You're reaching up towards the ceiling, twisting that thoracic spine, opening up that chest, bringing that right hand down inside that right foot. Let's do that four more times together. Inhale, reaching up to the ceiling. Exhale, bringing that hand down. Three more. Don't kill yourself if you have to stop here. It takes time and consistency and practice, hence why you do it twice a day daily. Final two on the right. And last one. Beautiful job. And now you're gonna walk that right foot back, that left foot outside of that left hand. I'm turning so you can see me better. And reaching that left arm up towards the ceiling, back down inside that left foot four more times together. Let's do it, gang. Runners, aspiring runners, people who just wanna move because this quarantine's getting us a little crazy these days. Whew. Let's do three more. I'm a little tight on the left, how about you? So if you're a little tighter on one side, by all means feel free to take more time on that side. And final one on this side. Reaching all the way up, back down. I want you to step into a wide, low squat. Those hands come under those toes. This is safe for your lower back. You're bringing your chin to your chest, rounding your spine, opening up that lumbar area. You're gonna try to extend or strain your legs. If you can't all the way, that's okay. And then bend them so you feel that nice hamstring stretch. Let's do that six more times together. Ooh, five. This took me two years to get here. So it takes time. Again, consistency, do this daily. Three, two, and one. Perfect job, okay, I love it. So 90-90 is one of my all-time favorites. So you're making almost like an S. So uh, you're flexing your front knee, making a 90 degree angle with your calf and your hamstring, same with the back. So if my right leg is here, my right kneecap is facing the ceiling, I'm flipping it over, so now it's facing and on the ground. 
The most important thing here is to not let your feet come off the ground at all, keeping that upright posture. So it's okay to go like this if your hips are super tight. We're gonna do 12 totals, so we have eight more. Feels good, right? Oof, hip mobility. I know, one of my favorites. Let's do four more together. Again, feel free to add as many as you'd like here. There's no rules when it comes to dynamic stretching and mobility work. And let's flip our legs back. Now, if you want to progress this movement, come up on your front shin. Be careful if you have the knee padding so you really feel that hip extension. Come sit back down, flip those knees back over. Same thing on this other side, squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those abs, sit back down. Let's do that two more times together. Squeeze, come back down. Remember, be careful that you're not pushing it a little too hard. And one more time, come back up, squeeze those glutes. Sit back down, beautiful job. How are we feeling, good? Good, okay. So now we're gonna go to a plank, um, kind of like a pike down dog, and then to a little bit of, kind of like a, an extension, we're not extending our back. So we're here, we're in a plank, okay? So you're driving through those palms, pedaling out those heels from left to right. I am not a yogi, but I can do a thing or two. After you pedal those legs out, or those heels out eight times, you're bringing yourself forward, letting your hips drop, squeezing your abs so tight so your hips are going into extension. Do not let them drop like this. That's a no-no. You want to let them drop like this. Come back up to a regular plank. Push back. Pedal those heels out so it's a little dynamic flow. Five, four, three, two, one. Come forward. Again, drop those hips. Ah up to that plank. Two more times together. This is your second to last one with me. Again, take your time here. If you want more, give it to yourself. Two, one, come forward, let those hips drop. Whew. Come back up, push it back, last one. Two, one, bring yourself forward, let those hips drop. Come back to the plank, let your Knees fall, come into child's pose. Uh, roll your body up one bird at a time. Give me five shoulder rolls towards the back of the room. And five towards the front. Amazing work. Whew. Who's feeling good? Me. Okay, so. We're gonna come up onto our feet, do a little shoulder mobility, shall we? So we're gonna bring our hands out to the side. Roll our hands back five times. Okay, we're gonna bring our shoulders behind us and then just in front. It's a little PT, but we're doing two more right here can hurt you, it can only help you. And last one. So we're gonna take each hand, okay? We're gonna go up, here, 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 and here. Up, so you're just moving those scapula, those shoulder blades, okay? I'm gonna do eight here for time's sake. You could do as many as you want. We're doing three more. Two, you might feel a little burn even. <laughs> and last one. Woo. That completes your mobility, SMR, and dynamic stretching for pre and post workout for you runners. So enjoy, do it two times daily, at least 10 minutes a day, um, that whole circuit, I would repeat two times or three in one of those two sessions daily.
be sure to tap on that subscribe button below this video and hit that bell to get notifications for every new video. Thanks so much for joining today.